When it comes to do-it-yourself health, there's the good, the bad, and the sometimes downright dangerous. A fecal transplant sounds like a pretty nasty joke, but it's actually a new medical treatment. The idea is that a stool sample from a healthy donor is transferred into the digestive tract of a recipient by colonoscopy or enema to replenish good bacteria. Currently, this procedure has only been approved to treat C. diff infections, but some people online are claiming fecal transplants can cure IBS and other disorders. And if their doctor won't perform the untested procedure, they are taking matters into their own hands. Online, people are making and injecting homemade enemas in the comfort of their own homes using stool samples from family or friends. Weeks, the saving solution, and the stool sample inside here. And there are plenty of videos with step-by-step -step instructions available online for anyone who wants to attempt a DIY-style fecal transplant. Experts are saying this is a terrible idea, citing risks of infection and disease, including HIV. Take the tube and slowly insert it in the inner cavity. Could fecal transplants actually help gastric sufferers, or is this an idea that ought to be flushed? I hope they threw that blender oh, away. Oh, are they making that, like that, food with that? That uh -oh. blender is history. Yeah, there are no margaritas <laughs> being made in that blender. I hope. Oh, you, oh. I need. I need a moment. <laughs> I need a moment. I mean, how about the dude laying on the floor giving himself an enema? We're doctors. We're not easily offended yeah, right. or disgusted. You know what? That was disgusting. It, it was. And, and look, <laughs> we need to delve into this because there is a place for fecal transplants. So we decided yes. to reach out to our number one, number two expert about this story. So please welcome proctologist and colorectal surgeon, Dr. David Rosenfeld. Join us on Skype. All right, so everyone is disgusted. It's really gross. I mean, you got people putting poop in blenders, et cetera. But this, this is really gross. But beyond that, this is the DIY fecal transplant dangerous, right, Doc? Yes, absolutely. Um, there is a place for this fecal microbial transplant. For me, putting someone else's stool in your colon is like sharing a needle. It's dangerous. And, and actually, they're looking to get the fecal microbiome and put it into pills without stool so we can take it because they're showing how effective this, this can be, but it's, it's research. So let's talk about why we do fecal microbial transplants. So there's something called C. difficile colitis. Clostridium difficile is a normal bacteria we all have, but if we take antibiotics, usually if we've been in the hospital or if we're, if we're more of the... Um, senior population, we get an overgrowth of this bacteria that produces toxins that are very dangerous, causes horrible di diarrhea and serious infection. Patients that don't respond to the typical antibiotic medication can benefit by getting donor stool put into their colon by a professional, by a gastroenterologist, a colorectal surgeon. The stool has to be checked, the patient has to be checked, everything has to be checked out and up to standard and then via the colonoscope, they will mix the stool prior to with, with water, saline, and then they will inject it throughout the whole colon. And within hours, patients go from being sometimes deathly ill to unbelievably better with a cure rate of up to 91 to 93% for this, this disease. Is, and if I may just throw this out there, this is one of the most exciting areas of research in medicine because you heard Dr. Roosevelt, C. diff colitis often happens after you've been on antibiotics. Well, traditionally, we've treated it with more antibiotics, and although that is still used, this is, this is, to me, medicine at its finest because we're using what could be described as a more natural cure. But the problem is I think people hear, oh, it's just taking someone else's stool and yeah. inserting it. I can do that.